Top stories on this week's kickback. Old man shoves thing in Marcelo's ear. Cristiano Ronaldo and Jamie Carragher show you the correct way to wear shorts this summer. And Roy Hodgson brings the sexy to the Copacabana. I'm Ryan Bailey, this is The Kickback, and as you saw from Mr. Roy's Abbey Road moment in the headlines, England have been in Brazil this week, showing the Seleção how underwhelming they've become ahead of next year's World Cup. Now, the advertising hoardings in the game may have been trolling Wayne Rooney, but it was Neymar who had a fairly underwhelming game. Perhaps he's been a bit distracted by the heat he's been receiving from Brazil's gay community for this fairly homophobic underwear commercial. Look, when a lady wants to buy his jollies, he's all game for it. But when a man does, it's no abrogado, bro. On the subject of Barcelona stars in their kex, look what little Leo Messi's been up to. Ooh, amazing scenes, and a marked improvement on his last attempt at showing off his crotch. Set Blatter gaff update now. The moronic FIFA president often has to issue apologies because of his sheer idiocy, and the latest was directed towards women after he described FIFA's new female executive committee member as good and good looking, and welcomed her by saying, you were always speaking at home, now you can speak here. Hmm. As an apology for this overtly sexist patronising spiel, Blatter has officially agreed to give women the spotlight during halftime shows at next year's World Cup. Here's an exclusive clip of the totally inoffensive and respectful entertainment he's lined up for Rio. You saw it here first. Mulher caindo. Alright. Nossa senhora, vamos pra cima. Olha lá, Lula, não acerta. Tá muito embolado o jogo. Tô sentindo que o jogo tá muito embolado. Essa, nossa. Set Blatter's vision for the future of the women's game there. Now then, the spiciest match of the week came in the Romanian top flight match between Petrolul and Gazmatan. There were 11 yellow cards and six reds, including one for Petrolul keeper Marcia Bornescu, who pulled off a superb Luis Suarez impression. No, I don't mean he dived. And I don't mean he racially abused someone. And I don't mean he received unconditional support from his own fans despite being a terrible person who constantly voices his desire to leave. I mean he bit someone. Look. In this moment, Sebastian Colțescu risks to lose this game from free time. Tasty. Over to Malaysia now, where a cat pooped on the field during a cup match while the commentators laugh uncontrollably as they listen to generic hard rock. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> On the subject of shit on the field, Polish keeper Marcin Kabaj preempted Mark Andre to Stegen's own goal howler against the USA by letting in a soft back pass of his own. And Chivas USA's Mario De Luna scored an epic header into his own net while under pressure from absolutely no Seattle Sounders players. Ahead of him. Here is Rosales, wide open again. Looking for Obafemi Martins, and oh my word! What was that from Mario De Luna? It is a spectacular own goal. I don't think you'll see a ricket like that again this season. Oh boy, that's nearly it from me, but before I go, here's grumpy Spanish Formula 1 driver Fernando Alonso slotting away a perfect Panenka penalty in a charity game. <laughs> Don't give up the day job, Fernando, whatever that is. Well, as always, I leave you with my Bobby Dasher of the Week. It's French under-21 captain Alexandre Coef scoring a superbly acrobatic backhill volley against the USA in a tournament in Toulouse. Take a look, what have you got to lose? Love to your mothers, see you next time. Et cette magnifique reprise du talon à la Ibrahimovic, j'ai envie de dire. Ah, il est magnifique, magnifique. Un geste très spectaculaire sur ce très bon service de Valentin Séric.